Hey, good morning guys. This is Jaysha from Jaysha's World and today we, be, we will be exploring the Belize Museum. So let's go everywhere together. <laughs> um, so this is the entrance of it. We can go. See, it's cool. Museum of Belize and Houses of Culture. Okay. So this is the entrance of it. I guess it's open. I don't know how to open it. <laughs> I think it's... Oh, there it is. Okay. So guys, welcome to the inside of the museum. Hello. Okay, this one? Yes, sir. Just press it oh. with your feet. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> Welcome to the Museum of Belize. Hello. <laughs> okay. So we charge a small fee of seven US to enter for your entrance fee. Okay. This is like what's in the um <laughs> in the That's the J head. Yeah, the, the J head. For the Mayans. The Mayan ruins. Okay. The stone lady. The stone. We don't have the Mayan exhibit up right now, but we have five other exhibits that are on display right now. There's two upstairs, which is the Art of Ben Caetano and the Lady Away Gallery of the Birds. Okay. Then downstairs here, over that section, is the Money Bottle and Antique Collection. And then over this side, we have the Enslaved, the Rise and Fall of Slavery in Belize. Okay, so slavery in Belize was actually based on Ragwood and Mahogany cutting. Okay. If you guys visit right at the end, we have our last um, exhibit, which is the history of Her Majesty's prison. Okay, and it's in our last standing jail cell because this was actually a prison. Okay, yeah. so everything is self-guided, so you guys can go at your own pace. Okay, the bathroom is straight ahead to the right, and the stairway for upstairs straight ahead, the white area. Okay. okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Which side do you want to go first? <laughs> Um, I don't think they can go in there. So, the first written coin records of currency in the settlement of British Honduras was the Jamaican pound. However, a shortage of species, money in coin, and the desire of trade with Spanish neighbors meant that logwood and mahogany were used as better items. Mm, let's go. That's nice. These are like the mugs and lamps and dishes. <laughs> Orbelese flag <laughs> on display was recovered from the rubble of the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, and stands as a remainder of the tragic morning. It is one of the few that were discovered after the tragedy. The flag was salvaged by the New York City Fire Department, who then gave it to the Ambassador of Belize in New York. Okay. Um, this is the 
bottles as you can see they listed all all the kind of bottles mm -hmm. Okay. This way. Um, the Hero Twins and Expalba. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Upstairs. About this exhibit. Mm. Oh, the name of them are here too. This is the um, Marianne Jones. These are beautiful paintings, guys. The evolution of pentagonal time. It's been a while since I was here at the Blaze Museum. The last time I was here was when I was um, younger and was in primary school. So it looks a little different to me. A lot of art. Okay, what is the Dugu? Dugu. <laughs> the Dugu is a complex system of interrelated rituals based on lineal kinship and is a natural output of Garingo culture. To practice and belief system, this consists of nine interlinked rituals. These are like for the Garifuna, yeah. A walk to Garifuna spirituality by I Mitchell Palacio. Okay, I love it. Words are hard to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. These are the Garfuna drums. The first drum, masculine. These drums are play versions and improvisation based on the feeling song, interpretation, command, and movement of the dancer. The shaker, they call it, um, let me see, um, Af balafon, African xylophone, okay. And the turtle shells. Mm -hmm. I love this. 
Do you have a phone? Oh, these birds look so real. <laughs> Is it? Do not touch. Are they to you? For real? Oh. My God, <laughs> that one is really small. Okay. What did they come in? Oh my god, this is kind of scary. Watch the owls. Turn that to. Watch this one. Cause of the hit by a beagle. See the little one here? And they're like they're killing the little ones. Oh. And what's it? Man. Hanging bird. I'll be done hanging there. Okay. So guys, we're gonna head back down and show you the rest of the place. Gods. The canoe is carrying part of God, normally associated with descent into its bamba. See the bars because it was the prison, so they still have the bars. <laughs> and the cells.
so guys, it still looks like the cell, like a cell of the prison. <laughs> it's like I'm in the prison. That's what Belize and like to make the black fruit cake, especially on Christmas time. Yup, it was right there. <laughs> used to cook meals for the woodcutter while at camp. They got eggs and such. The lover's helmet, the own lover's helmet is made of canvas cloth coated with a hardening agent the weave of the fabric can be seen all over their head it was safe to gain used by lovers in the 19 in the 1800s Last unspoiled places on earth, you'll feel it intimate and authentic. So the slavery is every day, everywhere. Be one with the wonder, be one with the excitement. Be one with the excitement. This is the Ordinance Book of 1893 ordinance a set of laws and practice that governs a settlement. These pages show the registration of marriage in the settlement of British Honduras. Cricket. Oh, this is what they play cricket with. Sport in the name too. Uh -huh. This is all. Turn drum covered with goat skin. Okay. What's your rifle? Mm -hmm. 16 gauge shotgun. Shotgun is a firearm which you fire a single or multiple shots through a barrel which is usually smooth on the inside. Markets the African were prepared to be sold like livestock. They were washed, shaved, and oil with coconut oil or tar to make them appear in optional health and increase their sales price. 
There were various methods of sale as scrum scramble was when buyers simply grab who they wish to purchase. Most popular though was the auction as agents could relay on bidding to drive up the price at the auction. Slaves were ex main examined, measured weight and physically propped by buyers. Okay. Mm -hmm. After being purchased at public auction, the slaves were branded much the same as chattel and given new names. Once they arrived the, at the master's property, they were given over the over to a previously bought slave for seasoning. This was the process of learning about life in their new surroundings and fulfilling the master's expectations. Majority of the slave acquired in Belize came from the territory territory of Jamaica and had been somewhat seasoned before importation of the colony. This is the map of the slave, the slave trade. Um, slave bunk. <laughs> um, I think that's the end of it. Okay guys, so that's the most of it. Did we see this? No. So this is what how the prison looks before they turn it into a museum.
this was a letter about a belt. Um, the Katona and Waters Club. This is what they thin them with. This was, I think this was like the um, the cell door, like when they lock them in a hole and they lock them up. They only have a little hole to peek through. <laughs> this was like the cell. <laughs> Man, I love it. So guys, that's it for the that's it for the tour of the Belize Museum. I hope you guys like it and join me on my other trips. Thank you.